This is the proof of the parallel axis theorem. So on page 254, we have this diagram. Uh, it's just some object. Uh, it uh, has a center of mass, which we have placed at the origin. So the center of mass is at the origin. And we're going to rotate it through some axis located at point P. We know that the moment of inertia of an object is the sum of mr squared, which is uh, many, many pieces with uh, incremental mass dm uh, times its distance to the axis of rotation squared. So mathematically, we write it like this. It's the integral of r squared dm, where r is the distance uh, from each piece of mass to the axis of rotation, and dm is the incremental mass of each piece. Now if we look at this diagram over here, we see that uh, dm is located at coordinate x comma y. So the, uh, the rest of the diagram, if we let the distance uh, in the x direction from the center of mass to the axis of rotation in the x direction be a, and in the y direction be b, then the distance from the center of mass to the axis of rotation is h. And using Pythagorean theorem, we know that h squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And we also see over here that r squared is equal to, right here, this equation, quantity x minus a squared plus quantity y minus b squared. So I'm going to take in this equation here, and I'm going to substitute for the r here the x minus a squared plus y minus b squared substituted in there. And now I'm going to uh, multiply out the squared terms and rearrange it and look at each term individually, take the integral of each term individually. The first term, x squared plus y squared, uh, I recognize that as capital R squared. Uh, that's not drawn in this diagram on the right, but that is the distance from the center of mass to the uh, point of mass that I'm looking at. So I can repl so that's r squared. These next two terms, if you compare them to equations that we saw in chapter 9, uh, this is the uh, term for the x-coordinate of the center of mass, and this is the term for the y-coordinate of the center of mass. So since my uh, center of mass in this diagram is at the origin, these terms must be 0, because uh, x dm is 0 and y dm is 0, and that's what I've got up here. So those terms drop out. And uh, this last term, a squared plus b squared, we know is the same as h squared. Uh, so that becomes the integral of h squared dm. Uh, the integral of dm is m, the mass of the object, and h squared just acts as a constant. So the last term is equal to mh squared. So therefore, the moment of inertia is equal to the moment of inertia at the center of mass, which is just r squared dm, integral of r squared dm, uh, plus mh squared. And there you have it, the parallel axis theorem.